Daniel Dean says, did you see the video of the drone flying over New York City reminding us to socially distance? No, missed that one. I haven't seen that one two, either. Two recent must-see, though, viral videos uh, around, well, there's they're a handful, but uh, the, the guy getting arrested paddleboarding in Southern California. I know. A paddleboarder is chased down by law enforcement for being out on the water at Malibu Beach. The incident caught on camera as the paddleboarder was taken into custody for disobeying a lifeguard and a surfer was sighted. No. Uh, the woman getting uh, arrested jogging, jogging in Florida. In Florida. Yeah. They're going to put me in cuffs. They're yeah. putting me in cuffs right now. Matthew Claxton says they escorted a nurse in Fort Smith, Arkansas, because it was making everyone panic. She was wearing scrubs while fill, scrubs while filling up for gas. <sighs> yeah, there's a few more. Woo. Uh, we're gonna see more. I mean, there, there's got to be a bunch out there. If anybody wants to share, like comment here. I know. Uh, there are a lot of other viral videos going around. I don't have time to watch them all. At some point, it's like bad cop porn, where you're just like, "Yeah, I'm done. I, I get it. Cops are being stupid." And, and and these aren't these are these are actually worth watching. This is not. This is like I I, I came to a point in my awakening as an activist where I was watching all the bad cop videos, and for me, there was a part of it where it was learning. What's the actual reality in these stressful situations dealing with cops? What's a better way to deal with cops? Learning a better way to resist, uh, you know, uh, undue police and infringement on your rights and all of that. But uh, th there got to a point with me where it was like porn, where you're just watching it, like, uh, and there's, you're not learning anything. It's just, and like, there, there are websites where there are people who, who watch, like, and they know every, like, viral a police abuse video and stay up on that. And at one point, I had to identify it as bad cop porn and just sort of check out from that. But right now, it, it's worth paying attention to these kinds of videos because this is how law enforcement relationships are changing right now, and we need to understand that. Anything else you want to bring in here, baby, before uh, we get Chris to our stories? Chris uh, Cole's story earlier about a former cop getting arrested for playing catch with oh, his daughter in the park. Yep, there's another good data point. Former cop. Where where was that one? Mm, a couple of people sent me that one this morning. Yeah, let me go back. Yeah, so it was a cop playing, a former cop playing catch with his daughter in a park, approached by police who were telling people this is this area is closed, get out of the park. And he just put up a little verbal resistance and was like, we're practicing social distancing and we are, uh, you know, not in violation of any orders. And, he, and they threatened to arrest him in front of his six-year-old daughter and, and then they did. And it, it's just, you know, I, I right now these are outliers, but if this becomes the norm, that's what we're looking out for. You know, on the on the the curve, the flatten the curve, the curve of tyranny. How high is it getting? I think it's t tapering off. I think there's going to be a flattening. I don't think, like what we're seeing here is isolated incidents right now of these, like the paddle boarding, the arrested for jogging, uh, the guy. Oh, there was a guy uh, ordered to wear an ankle bracelet. Right, there have been a few cases of that, not by widespread policy yet, by individual cases with judges' orders, and that's some scary shit. That that's. That's some serious shit that, that they have scared people bad enough into accepting that kind of law enforcement. But I think they, when this happens, at least today in America, if they want an, or, or, or the incentive for them is to get those kinds of policies more widespread, they're going to test the waters first. And so it is it is worth making noise about this. It is worth following. By the way, please share this video if you're watching right now. If you think this is important, not just because it's me with my message of freedom and, and everything that we're doing, living off grid, living better, living by libertarian values at the Garden of Freedom and everything we're doing with Adam versus the man and big igloo geodesics, but that we're having a reasonable conversation based not just on libertarian principles, but an intellectual sense of open-mindedness and hosting a conversation, yeah, thank you for all the thumbs up, hosting conversation with all of you where your input is welcome in this and being able to put a check on me and, and, and being questioned. Like I said, eventually, we put the Patreon link up there. If we get enough money in Patreon and we can hire a producer full time, we'll go back to doing the full production two hour live show where we're doing actual live uh, callers and reading emails and, 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 ha and, and really enhancing that audience interaction. But for now, this, this is great. 